they've said a lot of things about Tony Harris. They said she was too small. They said she was too slow. Too weak. They said she'd never get to the next level. Never inspire a new generation. Never get a football scholarship. Never been a big fan of assumptions. And neither have we. <sighs> Tony girl, do not allow them to use you. Okay. Today we are talking about Tony Harris. Antoinette Harris, I believe that's her full name, okay? She is the first female football player signed um, under a skill position. I don't think she's the first ever to get a football scholarship. Um, I think, she, I believe she's the first to get it um, as a skill position player because I, I believe there's been like kickers before in the past. Okay, she signed to East Los Angeles College. I am happy for her that she does have a scholarship for college. Um, I was cringing at the fact that I believe she's being used as a political prop, and here's why. Uh, Tony Harris is fit and she is gorgeous, so that automatically makes her a great poster child. Also, a cancer survivor, African American, and a female. So, she checks all the intersectional boxes, which would make, you know, kind of criticizing the move. Uh, which would make kind of criticizing what's going on here a little bit hard uh, lest you be de deemed some type of bigot. When I first heard about her, when when I first saw the commercial, like I said, this is the first time I heard about her, of course I had to do a quick Google search on my phone. And of course, whenever there's hype around anybody, I automatically go look at the highlights. So I typed in Tony Harris highlights and... <laughs> could barely find any yeah uh, her highlight reel is um about three maybe four ish minutes oh there's a good number of shots of her just in practice with a t-shirt um i think she has three total hits um and yeah here let's look into my journal of truth right here and um decipher the bs okay all right so like i said tony harris checks off all the intersectional boxes uh, but let's get to the sports stats because that's why we're here, right? Okay, so she's five foot seven. I can't get an actual, you know, accurate weight on her because um, I feel like they're inflating it uh, to make her seem a lot bigger than she is. But if you look at the girl, she's pretty damn petite. Okay, so I'll put her in the one forty five. Uh, in the 135, I would say max 150 range for her height. Okay, so so even with that being said, uh, <laughs> I'm not buying this whole thing. Okay, uh, Tony Harris is not going up against other women. Okay, she will if she even starts at all will be going up against men. Okay, and she's listed here as a safe. And for those of you who know your football, you know there's two types of safeties. There's the free safeties, okay, and the strong safeties. And I'm pretty sure she's a free safety because free safeties most of the time get lined up against, you know, the wide receivers, which are, you know, pretty wiry, okay. Uh, and um, strong safeties would be lined up against the running backs and even tight ends at times. And uh, again, based on her stats, I don't think they want her to do that, okay? Because, you know, I mean, a receiver would get, a uh, male receiver is going to give her a hard time, okay? They tend to be tall, okay? Usually between like 6'2", 6'4", okay? Uh, I'm not sure about the weight. I'm not going to speculate on that. Uh, but if she were to be a strong safety, she'd be going up against bullish running backs that are an average 5'10", to 6'1", to 30, 225 to 250 range, okay? And uh, 5'7", 150. Uh, now that we've discussed kind of the obvious, let's discuss what my real issue with this is. Um, I don't know if you watched my video on why the WNBA sucks and how it could be better. Uh, one of my biggest issues with um, females in sports is the fact that there's just this 
you know, anything you can do, I can do better type thing, okay? And we're in a day and age where, you know, with social justice warriors and, you know, the society leaning more and more left as we go, which, I mean, isn't a problem, I'm pretty libertarian, uh, there seems to be this wanting to masculate women, okay? It seems as though in order to prove that we are equal to women, okay, in order to prove the equality of our value, uh, we have to do the same thing men can do. And I will say this over and over again. I, I like mac and cheese, I like steak, just the same, okay? They don't have much in common though, okay? They, they really don't. I don't like them for the same reasons, but they're both equally delicious. Same as men and women. Men are there to protect and provide for the most part. Men are there to nurture and make everything better, okay? Now when it comes to the case of Tony Harris, I do believe she's being used as a political prop. Like I said, like I keep saying, she checks all the intersectional boxes, okay? So any type of criticism would be deemed some type of bigotry uh, or something like that. Um, but, you know, there's just such a big dilemma, okay, because, you know, she has a coach and, you know, if he doesn't start her, then it's like, okay, well, you're being sexist, <laughs> yeah, or I'm just fought, you know, and it's like, okay, whatever. But then if he does start her, he's going to get flack like, okay, well, you're just doing it to appease the masses and what if she gets hurt, okay? Uh, say, you know, you're one of the receivers going up against her because I do believe she's a free safety, not a strong safety. What are you going to do? Okay. Like, are you really, are you going to run her over? Oh my God, you're a dick because you're going over her. Oh my gosh. Why? Let her cover you. You don't have to, you're a guy. You should be able to catch the ball and not, you know, do her any harm. Well, it's football, okay? And then if she tackles you, which I sincerely doubt that she can, or, you know, make some type of defensive stop on you by some miracle, which I didn't see in her three minute highlight reel, then it's like, uh, wow. Wow, bro. You really let a girl do that to you? You know, so it's just, there's no winning in this case, okay? I, I, I'm so sick of this trope that men, that women have to prove their equality to men by being in men's spaces. No, we can do that by creating our own space and making it just as great. Focus less, especially in the sports world, is being equal to men by competing directly with them, okay? We can harness our energy into creating our own spaces, competing against each other. Okay, if we get our shit together, WNBA, I'm staring at you, we could be just as, if not more entertaining than men, because let's be real, we're better to look at, okay? Now, Tony Harris, I wish you the best of luck at East Los Angeles College. Uh, I hope you get a chance to show your skills that I didn't see again in your three minute highlight reel. Um, And you know, you stated that you want to be the first female football player. Girl, I hope you use your platform for something better than that, okay? Create, help, you know, lobby for a women's football league, okay? That isn't the lingerie league, okay? Um, let's, let's create a league that can be, you know, legitimate because there are female athletes there that are like hungry and thirsty to, you know, engage in our primal urges against other women too so please use your platform for good lobby for this type of thing because again we do not need to compete directly with men to prove that we're equal to them tony harris in my opinion is being used as a political prop i do not like it <laughs>